welcome back. I'm currently riding through the remote mountain ranges around Bodrum, trying to find an ancient tomb, and then stealth camp in an abandoned village which is hidden somewhere in these hills. Huh, a sign with nothing except some bullet holes. Tomb is down here, apparently. Wow, what a remote mountain pass. I'm totally in the middle of nowhere here. Huh. Okay. Apparently the tomb is through the woods here. I have to follow these transmission lines. Well, I'm gonna have to park my bike here and proceed on foot. Well, at least there's this little trail. I'm telling you, Turkey's got some very thorny plants. Hopefully I don't have to struggle through too many of them to get to this tomb. <sighs> Nothing like a brisk early morning mountain climb to get you going. Shit, I think there's a wild boar around here somewhere. Hopefully it doesn't attack me. Maybe I need to find myself a pointy stick for defense. You never have to worry about mammals attacking you in the wilderness in Australia. Reptiles, insects, yeah. Not mammals though. Oh jeez. This is overgrown. Look how thorny this plant is. Okay, I've made it to the next tower. I think this one's pretty much at the top of the hill. Hopefully the path flattens out. Good view from up here. Some people may choose to spend their time down there on that ferris wheel. I choose to spend my time struggling through thorny wilderness. And check it out. I can see that tomb. It's crazy, it's so remote. I wonder how many people come here. Surely not many. Check it out, a wild tortoise. That's crazy. Hello, little fella. Getting closer to that tomb. Man, this thing is remote. The path is very ill-defined at this point. I'm just picking my way through the bushes here. But apparently the tomb is at the top of this hill. Tomb. Huh. This isn't the tomb. That's the tomb. So this is some other building nearby. I wonder what this was. Ancient remains lost in the wilderness. How fascinating. There's an angry looking tree stump. Incredible. This is all just loosely stacked rocks. No mortar. Oh, 
Ah, oh, I made it. That was quite the trek. Let's have a look at this thing. Blows my mind that this is still here in such good shape as just loosely stacked rocks. Apparently, this is 2,000 years old. You know what I find really nice? The way they've utilized these stripes, which were naturally in the rock, and they've stacked them together to create contiguous patterns along the side. That's very creative and aesthetic. How they're able to keep this thing standing by just interlocking rocks loosely. A little bit of a collapse on this side. When I was looking at this thing on Google Earth, I was trying to find places to stealth camp and I was thinking maybe I could stealth camp in this, but yeah, no. It's hard enough to get me up here, let alone all my stuff. And there's really nowhere in there to put a hammock or a tent or anything. So it's good to see it. All right, time to find my way back to my bike and ride off to this abandoned village, which is hidden somewhere else in these hills. Almost back to my bike. Oh. <sighs> nice. Made it back to my bike. Right. Let's find that abandoned village. Okay, we made it to the abandoned village. Here we go. I'll find a place to park my bike and then I'll explore this place on foot for a bit. Nice. I wonder when this place was abandoned and for what reason. A lot of these villages got abandoned during the population exchange with Greece, where all the Greeks in Turkey moved to Greece and all the Turkish people in Greece moved to Turkey. Perhaps this is one of those. Very cool. dog. If one of these structures is even remotely habitable, we'll set up there. It's like life after people in this place. Hmm. I wonder what's the deal with this place. Somebody might be restoring this one. Let's have a look inside. Hmm. This seems really pleasant. This place might do. I mean, clearly someone's working on it, but hopefully they won't mind if I stay here one night, you know? I mean, if they're not here now, what do you think the chances are of them showing up before tomorrow morning? If I can find somewhere else before it gets dark that's better, then I'll stay there. 
just crossed the river. So I'm going to see if there's a better place over here. Better to stay somewhere that doesn't have somebody clearly working on it. I spotted sort of a cave dwelling looking thing up here. I'm gonna have a look at that. It's up in this rock formation. Huh. Hmm, this actually could be better, I'm not gonna lie. Spent the night in a cave, huh? That could be cool. I'll put it on the maybe pile. See, I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a bunch of laundry hanging on clotheslines over there, so clearly habited. Have a look at that little building up there. Those people over there at the clothesline are watching me intently. this structure. Hmm. That little lizard, did you see that? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to stealth up here with all these dogs and residents watching me. It's a very dramatic setting though. So cool. Imagine getting to just live in this abandoned village. Okay, so one of the residents over there just told me that that's their property over there, so I'm going to stick to this side of the river. Probably just down in that little basement. That's a shame, that cave dwelling was really cool, but I think that basement might be a bit more comfortable, honestly. Also, I've taken off my Turkish flag shirt because it's decidedly unstealthy. You know, highly aggressive Islamic war flag and all. Okay, I'm gonna have to rebrand this as a solo camp because a couple of people, nice young people, who live on this side of the river, granted me permission to spend the night in that little building there. Bless their souls. And they gave me this, fresh oregano. Told me to use it to make some tea. I'm gonna try that. But yeah, not stealth camping if you get permission, so solo camp it is. I'm honestly torn. Part of me wants to camp up here. Part of me wants to camp down there. It's down here, there'll be less cross breeze because there's less windows. But as we know, warm air rises, so you'd think. It might be warmer up here, even though there's more cross breeze. And it's lighter up here, and it looks nicer, and there's a nicer floor. So I'm probably gonna camp up here. It's just a bit more pleasant all around. Gotta tell you though, I was really getting stressed when that person came and told me to leave, and I didn't know what I was gonna do. So now that those other people told me I could stay, I feel a lot better about this. I wonder what this little alcove in the corner is. Is it pointing towards Mecca? If so, that would explain it. I've never had oregano tea before. We'll see how this turns out. Just gonna let it simmer for a little bit. Anyone ever had a sprig of fresh oregano? It explodes in your mouth, it's insane. So this tea, I'm expecting this tea to be something else. It's extremely aromatic. All right, let's give this a try. Hmm. Wow, that's a lot milder than I was expecting. Hmm. It's a very nice mild oregano taste. Highly recommend.
Mm. Made at the suggestion of and with the oregano from the people who gave me permission to stay here. Nice. The sun has set. How aesthetically pleasing is that? All right, time to make dinner. I'm gonna throw the rest of these oregano sprigs in there. I've got these little sausages. Also got this cheese. Water's boiled. Chili. Curry powder. Gonna let that hydrate. Throwing all this together. Bunch of cheese in there. A bunch of sausages. Capri Sun Mystic Dragon. You just stab it in there. Hear that? Somebody doing a sheep call. Calling in the livestock for the night. Beautiful. I think that was the same lady who told me to leave. Okay, pretty sure this is done. Check that out. Nice melted cheese and sausages with cashews. And noodles. Beautiful. Mm. You can taste the oregano tea. Nice. That was a delicious dinner. And for dessert, I got these things. Little chocolate cakes. Hmm. Hmm. Where's the filling? Uh, it was probably in there somewhere. Let's try another one. There's some filling. All right, I'm probably gonna smash like six or seven of these things and then chill until bedtime. I just got a message from the mayor of this local region. He says, have a blessed Ramadan. So, I guess they've sighted the moon. Ramadan, the Islamic holy month, has officially started. Is that the Azan? It is. The Azan for Isha just started at that very second. Wow. So yeah, that's the first call to prayer since the sighting of the moon. That's pretty incredible, honestly. This is going to be the first time I've ever had a Ramadan in a Muslim country. It's going to be wild. Good night.
Nice. The sun's just coming up. So for breakfast, we've got leftover cashews, some sun-dried apricots, some more of these cakes, and Cappy mixed juice. Well, that was a very pleasant night. Okay, I'm gonna pack my bike up and get out of here. But first, let's take a look at this place from above. Ooh.